what's up YouTube it's Scotty with Evil Castrigal we are mobile running down the road we're taking the KO if you can see it behind me there to a motocross track <laughs> it's probably gonna be a bad idea uh, but uh, we're gonna we're heading to uh, 812 MX here in Georgetown Indiana it's a local track uh, really it's more of a like a religious uh, facility that also rides motocross and uh, CC Power Sports, the company I work for, sponsors them. So we're going to take the KO out there and see what it does. I'm also going to ride uh, my dad Rob's uh, KTM 300 XC. So it's kind of just a, a woods bike on the motocross track day. I have a feeling the KTM's going to handle the jumps a little better than the KO behind me. But uh, just figured it might be interesting to see how this thing does. I know people have been asking uh, for some KO content. So, hey, I listened. Let's get into it. I'll see you at the track.
after doing some wax on the KO, I decided uh, I really wanted to try my dad's 300. He brought it for me to try today. It's a 2023 KTM 300 XC. This is the new fuel injected two stroke on the brand new chassis, brand new engine. Um, and I just wanted to kind of ride it today. Uh, when he offered it, I was like, of course. Uh, that being said, the KO is a very capable motorcycle and honestly handled every jump on the motocross track totally fine. Um, but I just wanted to, I mean, I had a chance to ride a new KTM, so I had to do it. So the rest of the video, I'm going to be on the KTM. Um, so we've had some ride footage of the KO, and we're just going to kind of check out what the KTM looks like on the same track, same day, same conditions. So enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Let's get into it. Halfway through the day, we've ridden Pops 300, we've crashed Pops 300, and we've ridden the KO 
KT 250. I think I like the 300 better on the track. Chubber, What's my buddy up? Chubber. Chubb, what do you think of the bikes on the track? Which one would you, which one do you think looks better, man? The 300. Yeah, I think you're right. The 300. <laughs> but the KO's not meant to ride on the track, so of course neither is the 300, but it's definitely more capable. Anyway, yeah, we're having a good time. I'm gonna ride the 300 a little more. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let's get back into the footy. All right, Pop, so we've stiffened the bike up a little bit. What exactly did we do to make it a little more track ready for me? Uh, well, I had it set up for the woods at about 9.8 bar in the fork, which is the European, you know, uh, rating for air pressure. I went to 10.4 and, uh, and then I went from uh, my normal 14 clicks out for woods to 11 clicks out for this track to see how it does so it can still be sort of plush but still like resist bottoming out at corner entry and things like that or big jump landings. All but right. That's about it. We'll see what happens. Cool. Can't wait to shred it. Look how dirty I got, man. <laughs> Yeah. 
pretty good day. 812 MX, really happy to have a motocross track out here in Southern Indiana, finally. It's been years since we've had something this decent, this close, so stoked that uh, these guys have put this together. And uh, surprised the KO uh, did all the jumps out here today. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you and compare it to my dad's 300 XC. It's a much better motorcycle for this kind of riding. But uh, if you're just uh, getting into it, the uh, KO's really good for that. And if you would just have a couple track days a year, it'd be great for that too. It did everything out here just fine. So really stoked. Love the KTM 300 XC. I think that might be the bike for me. It's kind of a good do-all bike. I might get the SX version though. Let my wife know in the comments. Say, Ashley, let Scotty get a motocross bike. <laughs> it's awoken something in me being out here today. I've got a lot of trauma from past injuries, but uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm impressed with the KO. I continue to be impressed with it. I hope you are too. And uh, I really, really enjoyed 100 MC. I think I won't. Check you later, guys. How long has it been since you rode a dirt bike? About three or four years. What are you thinking? It's time for another one. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take my pants off, so if you don't wanna stop. Oh, uh, switch, switch to the Patreon, people. <laughs>